Hello. Um, sorry that these are coming a little late this week. Um, just been busy fielding, uh, a fielding press. I'm just fucking kidding. Um, <laughs> I had to have a conversation about like humility. I, not that there shouldn't be joy around it, but you saw my post, you know, and this is just one and keep it moving. Um, so, uh, that being said, girl, um, for anyone tuning in, this is the Dear Jane series. This is a unscripted um, yoga flow um, that I have put together for um, my dear friend Jane, um, who I used to work with at Youth Homes. Um, it is meant to be candid. It is unedited. Um, so therefore, there I just mark them all um, as not for children, as once in a while I actually swear. Um, because Jane and I have that relationship, obviously, after we've worked in very hard spaces um, together. So, uh, but um, she commissioned me to do this um, a couple of years back. So we have over 300 um, plus videos. Um, and we agreed that we would open them up to the public um, so we can make yoga more accessible to everybody. That being said, if you want um, to um, donate so we can continue, to do videos like this and um, so we can continue to host classes out in the community, meaning the entirety of the United States to start um, and then into the world so I can pay other teachers um, and so I can take the practice that I have learned. Um, I would say pay other teachers and artists um, and commission them to come on and then take the practice that I have been taught um, to other places and spaces. So. Um, information about giving is in the captions below. All right, that being said, everybody, let's go ahead and ground down to our seats. Let the crown of the head lift high to the sky, roll your shoulder blades down and back, and take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Two more big breaths, big inhale through the nose. And exhale. Two more. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. And then allow yourself just to come into your breath. So breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Always starting off our classes from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe. Just recognizing that energy that's bigger than us, that we're still collectively a part of. We give gratitude to this earth. She reminds us that we live in a space of abundance rather than a space of scarcity. We have everything that we need and that we ourselves are more than enough. We give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of the lands that we're seated upon. So here, I'm in Bozeman today. Um, in Bozeman, it is the Cheyenne and the Crow the Salish, the Blackfoot, the Pondere, and the Walla Walla tribes. And we're reminding ourselves that land acknowledgement is just the first baby step in us coming into right relationship and doing the right thing. So it's thought, word, and indeed. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga. So it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good. We're kind and honest and generous and just. And we give gratitude to black and brown people as the original creators and sustainers of this practice a space of ahimsa, also known as loving action. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, to our own ancestors and our own lineage, recognizing our and their trials and triumphs, traumas, tribulations, and transgressions, and holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done in order to build a peaceful, loving, and liberated world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, and draw them into your mind's eye, take a nice deep inhale. Pull them all the way down into your heart center and then in your exhale, send them up. Go ahead and slowly blink open your eyes and allow yourself just to come back into your room and into your space and kind of casually glance around just to notice any detailings that maybe you haven't noticed prior. And then slowly turn and look out past 
your left shoulder, eyes move into the side of your skull. And slowly move your chin through your center line, turn and look out past your opposite shoulder. Bring your chin all the way back to your center. Tilt your chin so it looks in this front upper corner of the room, breathe into your throat. Exhale, drop your chin all the way down towards your chest, roll your shoulder blades down and back, create some big compression here. And slowly move your chin all the way back to your center line. Take your fingertips and crawl them all the way out in front of you. Bring yourself down and over the tops of your shins, press into your palms. You can drop your forearms down to the earth, maybe you shift back and forth a little bit side to side through your seat. Breathe into the back part of your body in your rib cage. One more big breath. And then slowly walk your hands all the way back towards you. Rock back on your seat. Change up the cross of your feet. Sit up nice and tall and crawl your fingertips out in front of you again. Reach. Breathe into the back side of the body. Press down through your palms. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands all the way back towards you. Rock back on your seat and take your feet out in front of you. And then turn your fingertips so they look back towards you as you ground down through your palms. You're gonna press up through your heart and chest and then just windshield wiper your knees back and forth side to side. Pull up and in on your low belly. And then slowly let your knees drape over to the right hand side. Heel toe your right foot out from underneath your left leg and then drape your right ankle to the outside of your left knee. Press up through your heart and chest as you open up through the outside of your hip. Big inhale here. Exhale. Again, nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly move your feet through your center line. Press your heart and chest up and press back through your right knee. And slowly you're going to drop your right sole of the foot down to the earth. And you're going to pull yourself up into a seat. Pull your knee in towards you and then turn and look out past your right shoulder. Big inhale here. Maybe take your hands to the base of your spine. You can turn and twist a little bit deeper. You can also put yourself in a bind. And reaches around to grab onto the inside of your hip or the waistband of your pants. And then slowly release. And then you're going to guide your right knee to stack on top of your left. I'm not mirroring you guys right now. Okay. And then slowly. So that just means do what I say and not what I do. Okay. Pull your heart and chest down and over the tops of your thighs. Big inhale. Exhale, fold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, pull your heart and chest back out. You're gonna slowly release, bring yourself all the way back to your center. Hands come back behind you again, windshield wiper your knees back and forth, side to side again. And this time you're gonna let your knees drop over to the left. Heel till your left foot out from underneath your right and drape your foot, press up through your heart and chest, open through the outside of that hip. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Exhale slowly. Pull your knees all the way back to your center. Press into your palms. Heart and chest lift as you continue to kind of press back through your left knee, opening up through your left hip. Breathe into the base of your belly. Exhale. One more time. Big inhale. Flex through your left foot. And then slowly let your left sole of the foot drop the outside of your right knee and you're going to pull yourself right and pull your knee up and towards you and then turn and twist and look up past your left shoulder. Exhale, hold one more time, big inhale. And then slowly you're going to guide your left knee on top of your right. Flex through your feet and then you're going to pull your heart and chest down and over the tops of your thighs. Think about releasing through the outside of your left hip. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, 
exhale, back your heart and chest up and out of it. And slowly, you're gonna lift yourself all the way back up. Turn yourself back to your center line. Release your foot, press into your palms. Lift your hips, big inhale here. Exhale, lower. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time, inhale, lift and exhale down. And then ground down to your palms and try it this way. Inhale up and then you're gonna swish yourself back. Inhale up, so in between your biceps. You just do as much as you can. Swish yourself back. Inhale up. Swish yourself back. And then find a seat. Move your seat back behind you. Flex your toes in towards your face. So then inhale, arm side. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. Flex your toes in towards you. Think about relaxing and releasing through the upper part of your hamstrings. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Scoot your seat forward. Take yourself all the way down and onto your back. Pull your knees up into your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Check in with your hips. Take the back of the skull all the way down to the earth and allow yourself just to kind of rock back and forth, side to side. Massaging out through your spine, your low back and your sacrum. And then send the soles of the feet high to the sky. Reverse a little bit of blood flow. Flex your toes in towards your face. Maybe point and flex through your feet. Big inhale here. Carve out through your low belly. Big inhale. And exhale. You can always, since your belly is really soft in this posture, you can always take your hands to just kind of massage out through your abdomen and create some like space and room like around your organs, right? This is also like the space where you can kind of massage out through your psoas, right? That's just big meaty ligament that runs from outside of your hip all the way down into your groin, it's a muscle. Big inhale. And then exhale, pull the knees into the chest. Let your knees move open and wide and go into the front part of your knees and pull your knees down and into you. And slowly pull the knees together, take the soles of the feet down to the earth, heel toe your feet to the off side of your mat and let your knees knock in. Hands can just rest on your belly and squeeze your knees and maybe pull your hips up off the mat ever so slightly. Be mindful of your knees as you pull your hips up here. You don't want to do too much. You're just trying to squeeze the very tops of your thighs together. Big inhale. And then exhale. Tuck your tailbone and let your low back come all the way down to the earth. Heel toe your feet back together. And then send your feet all the way down to the end of your mat to come into your Shavasana. Hands come down to your sides. I'll grab a little card for us today. You guys just hang out in your Shavasana. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Just a little shorty. I'll do a longer one for Super Bowl Sunday. Or maybe later on today too, when I get back into Billings since I'll be traveling. So, traveling, driving. <laughs> Nice deep inhale through the nose. And then slowly exhale. Card for you all to take with you. Let's go this one instead. Remember. Recall your soul's truth. Ask yourself, are you ready to live your life from the wisdom of your heart? And y'all, this is from 
The Secret Image of Light, Transmissions for Your Soul by Denise Charvey. You may have been citing 1111 as a reflection of this. If not, you can expect to be receiving this sign soon. You may see it on a clock, a phone number, or receive or in a dream. And with this wisdom, fresh and innovative ideas will flow into your mind as new ways to live your life. No one else has to change their ways, only you. Live from your heart, be an inspiration, and discover a new world. Some call 1111 an awakening code. You must have awoken in some level to receive it. It's a sign that you are much more than what you think you are. 1111 has many different explanations because we're all asking different questions. There's no right or wrong meaning, but at the heart of it, 1111 is a loving, intelligent energy that will always encourage you towards your soul when you remember the truth of who you are. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. One more big breath, big inhale. And exhale. The divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in me sees, honors, and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the divine love in each of you, the collectively in all of us. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me and for trusting me with your bodies, hearts, spirits, and souls. And when you do leave this space, be sure to go in peace and remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, y'all. Um, Miss Jane, I'll see you tonight. Um, and for the rest of y'all, um, I hope that you all have a wonderful day, a start to your week, whenever you tune in to this. Um, yeah, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace and love, everyone.